Hey guys, today's video is advanced notation. So make sure you watch the beginner's notation video link in the description because it'll give a brief overview um, like beginner's notation. Anyway, this would make a lot more sense if you've already watched that. Or if you already know notation and just want to get the advanced stuff down, this is the video for you. So, so here's a picture of what we're going to be going over today. Let's get that out of here. So. We're going to be going over three rotations and three moves. So let's start it off with the rotations. So first is the X rotation. If you see a lowercase x in an algorithm, that just means you face the bottom. Like there's this OLL case right here in beginner CFOP where you just go like this, like that. You just face the bottom, do your algorithm. Just like that. So then X prime, it's very similar. You just face the top. It's like the opposite. So that's lowercase x with the apostrophe. So there. So that just means you face the top. A good example for this is the E perm. So you face the top, do your algorithm. E perm, you can see right there. Face the top, do the rest of the algorithm. Just like that. Okay, so now for the Y rotation. So when you see a lowercase y, that just means that you spin this way to the left. Spin to the left for Y. Now for Y prime, that's where you spin to the right. Just like that. A good example for this is the V perm, although I don't do that V perm, so you won't see the algorithm up there. But that has a Y rotation in it. So next up is the Z perm. So that for Z, if you see lowercase Z, you just turn it like that. If you see a Z and then dash next to it, that's lowercase Z, dash next to it, that's Z prime. Let's return the entire cube like that. So for these rotations, this is where you're moving the entire cube. It's a cube rotation. For the moves, that's where you're turning like a layer. So that's it for the rotations. Now for the moves, we're going to do M, S, and E. So M is the most popular you see in the most algorithms, especially PLL. So an example of this like the H burn. Like that. This is the M slice. The E slice, and this is the S slice. So M is where you turn the middle slice down. M prime is where you turn the middle slice back up. So most algorithms either have M2 or M prime, but occasionally you'll see a couple of M's. Like there's the U perms. They both have M and M prime moves and M2 moves. Just a friendly reminder, if you see a 2 next to the letter, that just means you do it twice. Like M2 would be like that. E2 and then like S2. That's also the checkerboard pattern. So, so now that M's done, M and prime. Okay, now E. E is where you turn this layer like that. E prime is where you turn that layer back. E is this middle layer to the right. E prime is that middle layer to the left. So then S. S is where you turn this back middle layer right here down to the right. S prime would be down to the left or up to the left if it's already like that. An example for S is where the around the world U prime is a good example for this. You can also find that video linked in the description. You do an S prime move in there and an S move actually. S prime move and the S move. So that's about it for advanced notation. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. We'll see you in the next video. Also, here's the picture again.